Good morning, everybody. So today, grab your tea, grab your coffee. We're in for a fun ride because I'm going to do a pick a card love reading. Um, and uh, so as I'm talking now, you can sort of have a look at these cards, have a look at the uh, the stones that I've put on each one and sort of see like, um, you know, if any of these like are particularly kind of drawing your attention? Do you feel pulled to any of these when you think of your person? Now, just to be, um, kind of to clarify before we start, um, last time I did a pick a card love reading, um, actually I think the last two times, I kind of had a bit of a, a red herring in there, not on te not intentionally, but I think um, somebody kind of tried to trick me and they thought of somebody that they'd kind of broken up with. Um, and so one of, the, one of the sets of cards was like, this relationship has been to the ground, we're never going back, I hate this person. <laughs> so I had to keep clarifying and saying, look, like if this isn't your situation, it's fine, it's just someone trying to trick me. Like, um, So I'm going to clarify now and set the intention now that we're only talking about relationships here where you already have some kind of established connection you know, you can already feel that there's a connection there and that you um, that you want to be together with this person. OK, so it's, it's a relationship where there's a there's already a pull and there's already a connection and like you want this relationship to work. Um, so. Uh, and again, it's going to be uh, situations where you're not actually with that person. So don't be thinking about like your wife that you live with or anything like this or your husband that you live with. Um, because this is for people who are like trying to get together with the person that they love. OK, so this is kind of the clarifier for it. Uh, so think of your person, see if any cards are particularly pulling you, if more than one set of cards is, is drawing your attention, if you're kind of torn between two sets, then that's kind of okay as well. Um, you can you can do both readings and you might find that there's bits in one and bits in the other uh, because obviously like there's only five sets of cards here so it might not be exactly your specific situation so do take it as a bit of fun don't take it as kind of like the be all and end all um it's kind of just shedding a bit more light on your situation i just saw 222 two, two as well on the on the timestamp uh so we know that twos are about people coming together partnerships so that's boding well what also is boding well is that um i lit two draw sticks um before just now before starting the video uh, it's two patchouli joysticks and they kind of come together as they burn down they get closer and closer together I've just realized I've got blue pen all over me as well I don't even know where that came from uh, I might have to just clean my camera as well in a second before I continue with the reading um because it's having trouble focusing um so yeah I lit these two patchouli joysticks now patchouli is for love uh, I lit it with two matches and the flame was huge <laughs> and uh, it refused to go out so I was like shaking the matches like this to try and make the, the flame go out and the flame was just not going out so we're taking that as a really good sign guys okay um yeah I I want everybody to um to have these beautiful romantic relationships I'm such a soppy person so wishing you well sending you lots of hope uh, for your unions uh, unions sounded very formal um, what else do I have to say before I start um, you can switch it around so uh, I'm going to pull cards for you and your person or person one and person two so you might be this person or you might be that person see which one fits you better and then the other set is your other person if that makes sense um, and uh, if it doesn't fit if you think this is definitely not my situation at all I'm finding no relevance here maybe go back and pick a different set of cards it might just be that there is a bit of I don't know spiritual interference when you were picking the first set go back and try another set again it is just for fun do take it with a pinch of salt don't do anything drastic based on the card reading today speak to friends and family if uh, if you feel particularly motivated or inspired by anything here today and I think with that I'll uh, get on with it so I'm going to shut up for a second. I'm going to let you focus on the cards. Um, oh, I should introduce which, what each one is as well. So for this one, I've got Amethyst. It's a really nice. Oh, you can see my window. Hi, outside. It's raining today. So we've got those lovely rain sounds in the background, which I really like. But we may get some annoying car sounds too. So sorry if that happens. So uh, uh, yeah, Amethyst. Um, deck two is Pink Quartz. Deck three is a uh, carnelian. 
Deck four is a uh, hermitite. Now I really like this one. Oh, you can definitely see far too much of my house though in this one. <laughs> my messy ceiling and my messy walls. Thanks, hermitite. Okay, sh revealing the truth. We're going to say that her hermitite reveals the truth. Uh, nothing can hide there. Uh, an amazonite. Uh, come on, amazonite. You can see my dodgy, <laughs> dodgy uh, 70s uh, swirl ceiling, you know, swirl, um, what's it, swirl plaster ceiling. But I love it. I love swirl plaster ceilings. It does need a look of paint, though. So I'm sipping my coffee. Have a look at the cards. Pause if you need to. Do a bit of meditating. See which ones you're drawn to. And I'll be back with you in a moment. I should say too that um, the underlying energy for everyone is you are good enough. I am picking up that there's a lot of doubts here, a lot of feelings of insecurities, a bit of imposter syndrome, these feelings of like not being worthy. So this is going to be a running theme throughout all the sets of cards. You are good enough. You do des deserve love. The love that you show to others, you deserve to have that back as well. Okay, so running theme for everyone. Um, you can, um, once you've decided which set of cards is yours, um, in the description box below you can find timestamps for each deck so you can jump straight to that reading. Okay, so here we go. This is the reading for the people who chose, uh, what was it? Amethyst. I should know, I should know that it's amethyst. It's one of the most common crystals. So, let's jump to it. I want to get some sort of an idea about the situation. What's going on for the people who have picked Amethyst? Can I get a card, please, for the people who have picked Amethyst? Thank you. We have the vision. I'm <coughs> choking. <laughs> choking on nothing. Um, okay, you may have problems with your throat chakra. You may have uh, problems communicating, uh, actually communicating with each other uh, in traditional forms. You may communicate more through like um, thoughts and intuition and dreams um, and just kind of knowing, like you can read each other's mind, like knowing that you're on the same page. And I do feel like you're on the same page. You have a shared vision. You can see these people are holding hands over this um, window to, that shows kind of their shared vision. I'm just gonna pause because I can hear one of my children. Okay, they're, they're all sorted. So yeah, I do feel like you have this shared vision and this also this shared knowledge, this knowing, this knowing that you two are connected and that you have this shared vision. Um, yeah, and also there's kind of, you may be going through kind of an ascension process together as well. I see with this with this forest down here, with this portal, um, it's like this portal brings you out on top, right? Brings you out at the top of the mountain. So you have this shared vision about where you want this relationship to go. And also like your dreams and goals are the same as well. I'm and Belinda Carlisle, we want the same thing, we dream the same dream. Um, yeah, I've mangled that, but <laughs> you know which one I mean. Um, so yeah, the shared vision. So lovely, that's off to a really good start. Now, what I forgot to mention actually was that you have some songs. Um, so uh, you have two songs, one of them was an intuitive song, and one of them was a um a song that I randomised on Spotify for you. So your first song is Love Story by Taylor Swift. That's the intuitive song that came through for you. Um, and you've also got Blood and Roses by The Smithereens. And I've just wrote down Dream the Same Dream by Belinda Carlisle. What I'm getting here is that you've kind of met someone uh, that feels very much on your level. It's almost like a Romeo and Juliet story with that love story song by Taylor Swift. And also the Blood and Roses, right? It's almost like a, like it feels like a, a star-crossed lovers, you know, this these two people who really like, they have the same vision, they are perfect match for each other really are like soulmate energy uh, or twin flame energy even but you feel like uh, the fates are against you or you feel like there's so many problems and, on, and obstacles in your path so if you are feeling like there are a lot of ob obstacles in your path um, this is perhaps there's something again to do with ancestry either parents who disapprove like in Romeo and Juliet um, people you come from different walks of life different backgrounds um, you're thinking how am I ever gonna um, how are we ever gonna get over this mountain right this massive hurdle uh, this is kind of telling you that there may be um, 
like the fates are actually opening up a path for you that you just don't see yet. You don't have the vision yet of um, what fate has in store for you because you're going to be able to pass through. It's kind of like a shortcut uh, and it's going to help you um, trust in the fates because they're going to help you ease some of the obstacles here. Uh, with that moon there as well, it's like you're not quite seeing the whole story yet. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good start, isn't it? So um, let's get... Um, so I'm going to assume that this is you on this side, but you can switch it over if you like. So what's going on in the thoughts, please, for person one? What's going on to the, in the thoughts, please, for person one? In, oh, there we go. You are the page of ones. You're wanting to shout about this in your heart space. It's like I want to shout it from the rooftops and really mean it. That's this card for me. And again, I'm going to have to write that down one second. There we go. I'm just writing it down so I can make a note in the description box for you. All the songs that come through as part of your reading deck one are uh, going to be in the description box below. So you can go and look those up for further messages. Yeah, you really want to shout about this. You're so excited. You really want to like go and rush and tell everybody the news and tell everybody your plans. Uh, feeling really inspired and passionate and motivated. Feeling almost like a child again, right? Uh, the... Um, the sunflower there symbols loyalty um, and um, the the cat there is like a companionship and confidence and kind of like Leo energy. There may be a Leo involved here, doesn't have to be. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it also reminds me of like the sun card. The sun card is like happiness that often also um, it's a Leo card and it has... Um, uh, some flowers depicted on it quite often. So yeah, really feeling like very, very happy in your heart space when you think of this connection. Really wanting to shout about it. But you can see that there's red tape around this stuff, right? There's a reason why you can't move forward with this. And he's shouting till he's blue in the face. Okay, shouting till he's blue in the face. Don't, like the shouting isn't working. It's not getting you any further. Um, so I'm saying he, you can be female. It's just that there's, uh, it's to me, it's a little boy on that card. Uh, but yeah, you can switch out the energies, the the, the roles as necessary. Uh, don't worry too much about uh, sex or gender in the readings. Everything is um, um, fluid in tarot. Okay, or at least in my tarot. <laughs> okay, so let's go to your thoughts. What's going on in your thoughts? Please. What's going in, on in the thoughts for person A? So if that's not you, that's your person. Yeah, nostalgia. Now, I really was picking up on this. I've got it in my notes. That there's, I feel like this is a, a connection. That, this isn't someone that you've just met. Um, or, right, no, there's two versions they're telling me. So for some of you, this is someone that you've known for a long time. You could have known them since childhood. Or you could also, you could feel like you're... Um, you feel like your children together. They bring out your childish side, right? We've got a page here. This is very, very youthful energy. Um, but yeah, you could, could have met in childhood. You could have met when you were both young. You could have um, known this person for a long time and have a lot of nostalgia for, for the past with them. A lot of uh, shared memories. Um, there is a feeling of you're thinking about how to uh, bring this equal give and take, right? This very... Um, I've just had news, sorry, that somebody's um, a family member's had an operation and uh, they're doing fine. So that <laughs> that's really good to know. <laughs> uh, love to you if anyone is watching this reading. I'm glad that you're okay. Um, so yeah, a lot of nostalgia for the past. You may have children with this person. I yeah, possibly, but I don't know why you wouldn't be together. Uh, you may want to have children with this person. Children ch children are coming through very, very strongly here. Um, you may, so yeah, you may have children with them. You may have known this person since you were a child, or you may have, um, um, you may feel like a child again when you're with this person. They bring out your youthful side, your, that sense of, um, kind of like simple pleasures like like childhood innocence and joy it's a very very i'm seeing this as a very innocent um relationship uh very pure um at least from your side um the alternate message is if you haven't known this person very long it feels like you have you feel like you've known this person forever and that you're kind of like old souls you may have had past lives with this person which is why you have this kind of shared vision and this knowledge and these trees of ancestry um yeah you may have lived many lives with this person so they just feel like they fit you like a glove like they feel like your person um okay so what's going on in your action space what kind of action do you want to take towards this person or are you taking towards this person What's going on in your action space right now? You are trying to make yourself happy. You're trying to figure out 
um, how to um, this is wish fulfillment as, as well so you see this person as your wish fulfillment the person who's going to bring you joy and happiness and abundance here uh, but you can see that she's kind of in the shadow and the light is here but I feel like the light is moving towards her so you, at the moment you're just <laughs> you can see it look at her expression there she's like do you know what I, if I have to wait if it's not working out right now, I'm just going to enjoy the simple pleasures in life. I'm going to really try to be patient. I'm going to try, um, if this can't happen right now, I feel like my hand's being pulled. I get in a lot of hand stuff this week. So I feel like somebody's like pulling my hand like this. Like, it's really weird. Um, so yeah, uh, you're just like, right, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to try and make myself happy. Happiness in the small things around me, inner happiness, inner healing, uh, really working on yourself and getting yourself into a good position because you're like, right, okay, this might not be able to happen yet. So, you know, it's locked down. I'm stuck here. I can't move towards this person right now. So I'm going to take a bit of time to kind of look after myself, to pamper myself, to, um, to make myself happy, to make myself look good, right? So that when I can move forward, I'm in a really good position to do so. Sorry for the car noises. Okay. So let's go to your person. What's going on in your person's heart space, Amethyst? <laughs> Hanging man, yeah, okay. Poor you two, really stuck. I really feel like, you know, you probably not able to see each other at the moment you're not able to travel to each other you know obviously covid is a big thing for everybody um but there's definitely red tape here there's something preventing you two from coming together so this person's just kind of like hanging around right <laughs> hanging around waiting trying really um in the heart space they're kind of like trying to think about things from a new perspective trying to uh, really look at the feelings in a new way um exploring there's a sense of stopping what they're doing and exploring their feelings um, there is a, the Sun there as well um, so I feel like they know that you're their happiness but there's something that they're fighting with they're kind of tangled up in something at the moment what's going on in their thoughts yeah they know uh, it depends um, you can work out who's in the feminine energy here and who's in the masculine energy so there's a couple of ways I can read this um, I'm seeing this as um, if you are identifying as the feminine energy over here yeah, and you're saying that this is the masculine energy and again you can be two females two males gender neutral it doesn't matter it's, it's just the energy that's feminine um, so it's um, I'll explain this the two ways that I'm seeing it so either they know that you are trying to bring this cup of love to them they know that you're their um, wish fulfillment you can see almost like this lightning striking her face her third eye it's like this knowledge right this this just just knowing and shared vision that's between you really knowing that you're there that you're offering this cup that you are loving giving it's like unconditional love It's they know that this is where they can find this with you or they're wanting to bring this forward to you. They want to off, they're trying to figure out, they're really, there's a lot of mental energy going on, mental energy in the heart space and a lot of um, emotions in their thoughts. So there may be kind of, their their heart and their thoughts, uh, they're kind of wrestling with this, trying to balance it, trying to figure out how to make this happen right, how to do this, how to offer you this cup of love. You can also see as well, she has got a hand on her stomach and it looks a little bit swollen. So again, I am getting the sense of like, either wanting to have children with each other or uh, maybe one of you is pregnant uh, maybe um, yeah there's a de definite sense of children here uh, seeing a future together even if it's not actually wanting to have children it's like seeing a future together wanting to um, plant these roots right and see watch them grow so what's going on in this person's action space towards you uh, nine of pentacles oh this is really nice reflecting actually you've got the nine of cups and your person has the nine of pentacles now you've both actually taken this oh i've gone goosebumps uh so this is really good you kind of you are sort of mirroring here you've got a lot of cups a lot of love a lot of passion this person i feel is really trying to figure things out you just want to express how you feel you're all love and passion okay this person's been a little bit more practical 
So they're thinking about more the tangible side, like how am I going to do this logistically, logically, practically, how are we going to do this, how are we going to make this happen? Uh, I am, you are both showing a single uh, with, the two, with the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so you may be single or you may be kind of good on your own, okay? You know that you can stand on your own two feet. Um, so um, yeah, take that as, as you will. Uh, this person's experienced some kind of change. They may have recently become single uh, and they may be getting ready to communicate that as well. Um, that's not for sure it's a possibility there's a couple of different ways i can read the card uh but there is a sense of like where you're wanting to be emotionally good on your own you know emotionally stable looking after your own emotions um this person is wanting to be good on a more practical level on a more tangible level so wanting to have um uh, independence uh, kind of even enough money to be able to do what they want to do uh, just really good on their own in a practical sense but these two nines are the best nines that you could have in the deck basically this is two single people who are really really stable really really good on their own um, emotionally stable and uh, stable in a tangible sense in the real world uh, so the, these two cards come before the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles which are like um, it's like the happy house and home card, right? um, happily ever after card and the happy house and home card together with someone else. So this is like, you're almost there in your journey. The nines are like almost at the finish line. And then the next step is union and being together and happily, happy together. I'm getting happy together that song now. So I'm just going to pause and write that down. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about you day and night. I really do. It's so lovely. Your relationship, guys. Oh, and the underneath is nine pentacles. So yeah, wanting to come forward with some sort of offer. Okay, can I get um, can I get an energy for person A, please? What kind of energy is person A in at the moment? Person A is energy, please. Person A is energy. Thank you, the gazelle. Um. Yeah, feeling that warmth, right? Really feeling that warmth. Um, kind of very, very sweet energy here for you both. Uh, you both showing as like, well, you especially, you're showing it very much in a kind of like a very sweet, um, not naive energy, but like a pure, um, very childlike um like a simple expression of love it's like you're very clear about you what you want and you're very very tender it's really look quite lovely you've got you might have really big eyes <laughs> your person is showing as the eagle card they want to bring some kind of justice to this situation again i'm picking up on that red tape over here there may be like this person may be because they're much more in their thoughts and they're much more on a practical level, you're like, I just want to show this person love. But this person is like, I've got to wrap stuff up. I've got to clear stuff up. Um, I've got to figure things out before I can go forward with this. Uh, the owl, you've got another owl there. So I feel like the owls um, may be important to you for your relationship. You may find that um, if you see owls, whether that be on the telly, right, on images, uh, that might be uh, a signifier for you for that things are going well. It may be trying to draw your attention to something. It might be trying to draw your attention to your thoughts. So watch out for owls. Harry Potter, they're telling me as well. You might, <laughs> might both like Harry Potter. Okay. Can you tell me, please, what kind of obstacles are in the path? What what do, what needs to be overcome for these two people to come together? That's too many cards. I can't take that many cards. It's like there's about 15 cards flipped over, so I'm sorry. I've just put those back away. Um, you might have a lot of obstacles to overcome, right? Too many cards. Oh, my goodness. Right, let me ask in a different way. Can you tell me, can you give me one card, please, or two cards, uh, to tell me the most important obstacle that these people need to overcome. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. So you may be feeling very, very chained to something. Uh, he has got a pentacle on his head, so I feel like there's something to do with work here for you both. Um, hot feet as well. Something about hot feet. Dancing, walking on hot coals. Um, walking on hot coals. Like, I feel like maybe... Um, You've both got hot feet, right? You both want to move. You're both really, really, like, ready to go for this. Maybe There may be a lot of sexual tension between you both as well. Um, but there's definitely something holding you back. I feel like this person especially, something that this person's clearing up, uh, holding them back, red tape. Um, this the, the devil card can be, like, uh, it can be shadow side, like, doubts and fears. But I'm seeing it more as, like... Um, 
yeah, some kind of red tape, something to do with like a practical level with this eagle card, with the red tape over here, with the feeling of like how the hangman's all chained up. There's some kind of like, it could be like a contract that this person's chained to, say that they're working away, they've got to work in a certain place and they've got to complete that contract, wrap up that contract before they can move on. Uh, something like that for you. Um, yeah. So, what does your person like about you? Okay, Amethyst, what does your person like about you? What does your person like about you, please? Oh, okay, they like a lot of stuff about you. They see you kind of like as a siren. Uh, you kind of might be keeping them at a distance, especially if this person's leaving a relationship. You might have said, no, I'm not prepared to do anything here until you've wrapped up. Um, the things that you need to wrap up. So they respect that about you. They respect that you're not a pushover, right? Um, they, but it's like the siren's call. They find you so sexy. They cannot resist you. And it's like, even if this kills me, I am coming towards you. Um, so what else? Uh, four of Pentacles. Yeah, you've, you've, you may have blocked them. Uh, you're very guarded. Um, you, you might be very good at keeping secrets, okay? And they like this about you. There is a sense of you holding back, right? Because you want to shout this. You want to shout this. Very, very passionate. But you're not, right? You're hot, you've got this, like, very kind of like... Um, very yeah you're holding back communication <laughs> the eight of wands is communication uh so you are you're drawing them in they're so allure, alluring to them they're giving me alluring um but you are like guarded you're guarded you're block like blocking something um communication and action you're not you're not following your heart here you're holding back um, and I think because you probably know that they need to wrap something up and they really 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 respect that about you they're grateful to you for that um so what's going on please um what um what fears are here around this relationship what is uh, this person afraid of um the world they're they're afraid of taking this next step they know that this is a big change for them uh this is a big decision that they have to make they're really really closing out some kind of cycle here or you are depending on which person you, you're seeing yourself as closing out a big part of their life a really big cycle this could be a long-term relationship that this person's leaving with the nine of pentacles and the the eagle contracts card as well there yeah they may be stepping away for a, a role that they've played for a long time um and they're, they're scared, they're frightened, they're scared of stepping through this new door into this new world with you. Um, now, that's not a terrible thing, you know, you've got a lot of good stuff here. I feel like this is a, such a lovely relationship. You know, you, this side as well, is, is so pure, and so beautiful. Um, and there's a lot of respect here as well. It looks like it's shared vision and everything. You've got... You've got all the things that you need for this to work once this red tape is removed and my heart just pulled. Uh, yeah, uh, you can see she's offering like this key with a heart on um, and all these new people here waiting. So yeah, really a sense of like, they've got hot feet here. They want to move. They're really excited. They want to go for this. But also this sense of like cold feet of, oh my God, am I actually going to do this? I'm scared, right? This is a big change for me. I'm scared. Um these readings, are, I always do readings that are so much longer than they should be. Um, this is your advice. Show the world the real you. Okay. Now, I think you need to be careful here because you, they're respecting you for holding back. Okay. But with these two nines, I feel like you're getting towards the finish line here. You're almost ready to... Um, once whatever this is wrapped up, and I think your person will let you know when when this is all wrapped up, um, then it will be time for you both to come out and and to get do this like page of page of ones shouting it from the rooftops and showing everybody um, you two together stepping out into the world together when when this person's ready. Okay. I hope you found that reading helpful. Uh, go back and pick another set of cards if you like. Uh, but I would say that that is pretty perfect. That, I'm very, feeling very, very hopeful about this. And it looks like you're both very, very mature about it. Patient, mature, doing it the right way. So well done. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello to the people who picked deck two and the rose quartz. Uh, so the underlying message for everybody is you are good enough. You deserve love, okay? So any doubts and feelings of not being good enough, that's kind of like something that's challenging everybody at the moment. But these, the cards are telling you you are good enough. You deserve the love that you give to other people. 
Now deck two, uh, the intuitive song that came through for you was Happiness by Goldfrapp. How do you get to find happiness, right? How, how do you get there? Uh, what is happiness for you? Now, you can, I think the happiness for you is your other person. You also got When You're Gone by Brian Adams and Mel C. Um, and now that's kind of saying, um, a song about being feeling very lonely, very despondent, not knowing what to do with yourself when your person's not around. Um, sorry about all the car noises. <laughs> I may shut the window if it gets too noisy, but um, yeah, feeling really quite lonely, I think. I was really picking up on this feeling of being like lonely and lost without your person, okay? There is a, a feeling of like obsessive thinking about your person and also about being quite codependent possibly as well you know needing this person to be happy not being happy without them so um we're going to see what comes through for you <clears throat> again if this doesn't sound like you uh, you know you can just go back and pick a different reading if you need to so the people who pick rose quartz can i get uh, i'm hearing a siren as well in the background there may be alarm bells ringing for you here i'm going to shut the window one second Okay, so for the group that picked Rose Quartz, whoops, <laughs> for the group that picked Rose Quartz, what's kind of going on with them? What's their situation, please? Oh, the siren. Oh, yeah, definitely feeling like somebody's under the spell of someone else here. Um, for hearing the sirens call, right? Um, it's very emotional. Uh, the sirens... Um, uh, the, the kind of modern idea of sirens, it's a bit different to the classical idea because they were like bird women <laughs> in classical culture but this mermaid idea of sirens they they kind of like um they're to do with the ocean the waves um the push and pull of the ocean i'm seeing so um feeling very emotionally drawn to this person or they feel very very emotionally drawn to you and there is a sense of kind of self-destruction with it though because i feel like um <sighs> It's like being lured to your doom almost, right? There's a, there is a sense of like almost um, this call being overwhelming. Uh, so overwhelming that I feel like you can't think about anything else um, when you're, you know, they, they occupy your thoughts a lot. Um, yeah, there's a sense of like self-destruction here. Um, the, the, you feel the pull and you feel it very, very strongly. Okay, let's go to uh, what's in your heart space towards them. Or they feel this way about you. Like I said, uh, what's going on in per this person's heart space, please? Oh, okay, interesting. Two of Cups in reverse and the lovers. Yeah, they, like I was saying, like, there's this push and pull. Um, it's like, it's kind of, will... Is it like self-doubt or like um, in and out kind of thing? Like... feeling like there's some it's like yeah it's you go you're going from this this isn't for me this will never happen unequal it's not equal your relationship to being like but i feel divinely guided to be with this person i really feel like this person is my person and my happiness so you've got like two almost like conflicting cards here okay i'm gonna keep pulling cards um yeah there's a lot of emotion a lot of passion uh, a lot of trying to figure out whether this person is your person or not i think what's going on in your thoughts i think you can i think you're trying to almost oh too much too much in your thoughts okay let's try again i might take that knight of wands though because um i saw that a couple of times actually while shuffling what's going on in your thoughts please what's going on in your thoughts the eight of pentacles right so maybe focusing on work um or working on this relationship or working on yourself uh put, doing some kind of work really focusing on um almost putting some kind of effort i think you're trying to distract yourself that's what i'm, I'm mainly getting because you, this is like it's like driving you mad it's like this really trying to figure things out, kind of like your thoughts are going back and to feeling really over emotional, very, very like strongly drawn, like divinely drawn to this person. But then being like, this doesn't feel healthy. I think you're aware that being so obsessed with someone isn't healthy. So you try and pull back, you try and push away from it and focus on something else and you're trying to focus your thoughts on your work. That's how I'm seeing this. Or this is what that per the, your person's doing towards you. 
Okay, can I go to the action space, please? What kind of action is person A taking here? Uh, justice. Yeah, really, really, like, look at look at the scales. Really trying to balance this situation out. Wanting justice, wanting fairness in a situation. Um, wanting to kind of, wanting the truth, I think, uh, or some kind of clarity. I think, really feel like this is driving you mad. You don't know, you don't quite know where you stand with this. I feel like... On the one hand, you're thinking, is this person like my divine partner? Is this person the person I'm meant to spend the rest of my life with, with that lover's card and the fate? But then there's this kind of like, I don't know if it's insecurity, uh, you know, like imposter syndrome of feeling like, but I don't deserve this. And also this like, fear because I said I saw that night of ones there this fear that this person might be using you that they might be trying to take advantage of you that they might be manipulating you you know being like a siren like they just want one thing from you and you don't want to be used so you're wanting this kind of clarity you're wanting this justice you're wanting to know actually where you stand like is this person going to make you happy what was the other song you had happiness and when you're gone yeah <sighs> I feel like you've got burdens as well on the underlying here. Um, you know, if you are feeling a relationship that feels divinely guided, you're feeling that really strong pull, you know, that's going to cause a lot of turmoil, turmoil for you. It's not something you can really just walk away from, but you, you are trying to kind of distract yourself, I think, there. So let's find out then. Let's let's get some clarity. What is in your person's heart space? A lot. <laughs> okay, I'm not taking that many. Like this is like overwhelming, overwhelming. Um, this relationship. Okay, the, your person's uh emotions towards you. Oh, ten of swords. Oh, do they feel stabbed in the back? Have you betrayed them somehow? Um, they're feeling some kind of ending i'm gonna get a clarifier why is the ten of swords here in the person's feelings what's going on why is the ten of swords here in this person's feelings and again this is like i asked for a relationship where two people are trying to come together so let's, yeah oh it's heartbreaking for they want an end to the heartbreak uh so if you are in pain over this so are they uh, so are they it's the four of swords but with it having the three there and they're all pointing down towards his chest it's like yeah they they might have gone into hermit mode they might have gone quiet on you because they're really like like they 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 feel dead they feel dead right um and i feel like the thoughts are in the emotions right now this is the swords are all thoughts um so it's like they're really trying to like think about this trying to work things out trying to understand what this relationship is uh and it's exhausting for them you know if they, you thought it was exhausting for you it's like showing up as like like literally killing this well not literally but you know physically they it feels like it's the emotional pain the immense it's like mental torture it's like killing them <laughs> um i'm laughing i'm sorry i shouldn't be laughing because it's it's very very painful um but then there's like that little fawn there that's coming over saying are you okay are you okay um Okay, hey, don't despair, guys. This is just reflecting the intensity of this relationship that you're both feeling. Uh, they don't they don't want an end to the relationship, just to clarify. This isn't saying I don't I want this relationship to end, I want to be out of here. This is like wanting an ending to the feeling of being like so emotionally and overwhelmed over, emotionally overwhelmed and overwhelmed by the thoughts. One second. Sorry for the interruption. I think my little boy needs extra cuddles today. He said he had a nightmare this morning. And I asked him if he wanted cuddles. And he kind of said no. But I think secretly he does. <laughs> so uh, that might be uh, significant to you as well. He's saying no, no, I don't want cuddles. I don't want affection. Secretly, he really needs a good cuddle right now. <laughs> uh, he or she. Sorry, gender is... Um... Uh, fluid in tarot uh, you can swap the roles around as well you know this might be your person then this might be you see what feels relevant okay so in their thoughts oh yeah they're all thoughts they're really up in the thoughts thoughts in the heart space thoughts in the thoughts <laughs> um there's a sense of like wanting to get away with something uh wanting to this is kind of like the thief in the night card uh, I'm trying to strategize like how to make this work uh 
they're telling me have their cake and eat it too. So do put a few barriers up here because I don't think this person is intentionally bad. I feel like they do have very, very strong feelings for you, but they kind of, I think, really want that physical affection from you. Um, but they are showing as perhaps being quite emotionally cold so it may be that you have to just give this person a bit more time I think they are really really like overwhelmed right now either by the relationship or by something else maybe they've got a lot going on in the life um and so feeling this pull towards you is 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 it's really occupying their thoughts um so yeah just I think just maybe put a few barriers up um have that self-worth and just give give this person a bit more time to figure things out for themselves don't put any pressure on them um i think you're doing the right thing here by by uh, focusing on other things okay what's going on in this person's action space towards you either the action they're planning on taking or the action that they are taking um which way please yeah all right okay they do want to um they're, they're trying to get control over their emotions here the king of cups has a lot of control over his emotions he can be really like holding back being quite guarded um only says what needs to be said and nothing more right he's not the person who's going to be like professing his love that would be the knight of cups he's like um really getting control of his emotions only expressing what he needs to express but the king of cups he is very 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 loving he's got a lot of emotional depth he just doesn't always show it um yeah he's very much in his head right now but he, he wants to present i think he wants to to show his love for you and he's showing his love not um not sex right it's, i mean it's i'm not saying he doesn't want to to you know do that it's more that if you were worried that this person was a bit of a player they were only after one thing they're showing us love okay um yeah at least that's how they're presenting but I, as i say just uh just give this person a bit more time just be aware that there's quite a lot of conflict going on inside them right now even if they're not exactly showing it okay can i get what energy is person A in, please? Thank you. The dragon. Oh, so this is like uh, very wise, actually. This is like um, watching, waiting, uh, feeling quite like an old soul as well. Um, really having quite a quite a um, higher perspective on things. I think quite a um, quite knowing energy. Um, and um, what, per what um, person B, what is person B feeling right now? What kind of energy is person B in? Can you give me an energy for person B, please? They might not. No, here we go. <laughs> person B is a B. <laughs> they are, they're also working really, really hard on something. Uh, they may be really busy. I did say that they may be quite overwhelmed here uh, by this situation. So, yeah, let them... <sighs> Don't put extra pressure on them right now. I think they just need a bit of space to kind of wrap up things that they need to wrap up, work on things that they're working on. They may just have too many things going on for them right now. I am seeing that they're very emotionally overwhelmed. Uh, no, well, too much to think about and it's overwhelming their emotions right now. They are trying to kind of get this balance, um, this control. Um, what is, uh, what's blocking this relationship? What's the barrier here? in this relationship what needs to change for this relationship to move forward can you tell me what kind of hurdles please are in the way of this relationship the chariot the father of pentacles and what's that the six of pentacles uh this the chariot can signify a choice that needs to be made and there's also a pentacle here so somebody may be making a choice in regards to work or home life here i think they know what choice they need to make with that moon on their head um and they're going to take action on it or they are taking action on it um yeah but it's 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 quite a it's quite a, a big deal i feel for them uh the father of pentacles this is the the king of pentacles so this is someone who's very grounded very stable uh somebody's father may be in the way of this relationship they may be blocking this and they may be saying oh this isn't a good idea i don't agree you know if it's like giving consent to get married they're saying no um or it could just be um uh one one of you is like um wanting to get you, you both are showing up as kind of like 
having quite a lot on your plate right now you're definitely showing up as working um i feel like with that pentacle as well like this is like wanting to get grounded wanting to get stable before being able to move forward with this um and then the six of pentacles. So it's all pentacles. It's like you something in regards to either work or home life or uh, finding some sort of balance, making a choice, finding balance, um, waiting for something to grow, right? Waiting until you're uh, more stable in a sort of financial or tangible sense before you can move forward with this. Uh, so I think this might be what's stressing this person out because they're really worrying about their finances or work or career right now. Uh, so they, they, yeah. Um, right. What does your person like about you? What does your person like about you? What does your person like most about you? Four of swords. Oh, Okay time time right what i'm getting because they've got the four of swords up here in that in the thoughts they like that you are giving them the time they need to i think perhaps possibly heal from a situation if they if they've left a situation um they might be mending a broken heart they might be um still recovering from something that ended in their life uh, whether that be um I don't know, it could be anything, anything that's kind of ended, uh, but it's it's hurt them in their heart space. Uh, so they are not quite ready to open up their heart space yet. They're trying, they're really, really trying with this King of Cups in their action space. Um, you know, they're trying to get stable and grounded. But I do feel like there's still a lot of thoughts, a lot of self-doubt actually there, a lot of fear about almost like overthinking everything, about all the things that could go wrong, about how they could get hurt again. Uh, but they really respect that you know this um, and you know that they need time to heal um, and that you're waiting and they know that this is hard for you. Like look at all these cobwebs, but they respect that about you. They, they, they like that you are not putting that pressure on them right now. Okay, so uh, what is your person afraid of? What is your person afraid of? What is your... They're afraid of a lot of things. Half the pack tried to come out there. What is your person afraid of? Tell me about these thoughts. What's your person afraid of? I'm just working out what this is trying to tell me. You've got the five of pentacles on the underneath there. Now there's a home on this card, a house on this card, and then there's this like um she looks almost like a like a devil, right? She looks almost like a an evil angel, sort of in this lightning bolt hitting the home, and then the home it looks like it looks like the windows are bursting out, so they're afraid of losing their stability. Um, and now this card is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is someone rushing in with the truth, and you've got the justice here in this action space. So um, it's almost like the truth hurts or the truth could do some damage to their home life, to their stability. And they're really, really scared of this. Now, this might not be you. This might be someone else. Say, for example, if this person left a previous relationship um, and then the truth came out um, that they were moving on to you, they're scared that their other person, their past, past person is going to cause a lot of disruption to their home life, um, make things difficult for them, um, play them like a puppet in a doll's house, I'm hearing. Um, yeah, they, I think they definitely need a little bit more time. Um, okay. Your advice card then. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Yeah, I do. I think this might be for your person more than you. I think they're having a, definitely a crisis of confidence, especially if they've been hurt by someone in the past, right? Uh, they're scared it's going to happen again. So um, you need to be confident. And I feel like you need to be bold or your person needs to be bold. I think you are showing as you, you you are showing us in your heart space a lot of like, should I, shouldn't I? Um, there is kind of like a... a it's something you're trying to balance in your heart space but you're showing us very very stable here you're showing us like justice which is the libra card so you're very balanced very honest very fair um very grounded working hard working you know taking this time to kind of distract yourself and work on things uh, i feel like 
be confident um, in your knowledge of what you know, your truth, um, you know, sit in your truth confidently, but your person is going to, they're getting over something, um, they really need that confidence boost, you could quietly give them confidence boost, you know, um, should find ways to show them that it's safe to come towards you, that you're open, that you're sat there waiting, that you're not judging them, that you're not trying to hurt them, um, yeah, there you go, I hope that was helpful for you, do take care and I wish you the best of luck with that one. Go and pick another card reading if you want. Um, you can ask about what's going to happen in your future. Um, do take care. Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay, group three. Those of you who chose the carnelian. Whoa, I think we're in for one right now. Um, <laughs> I was seeing like the, the ace of wands and the queen of wands um, during the pre-shuffle and the heart. I think... I think it's going to be spicy this reading. I need to speed up a bit though because this is going to be so long and I'm going to run out of space to record. Um, so uh, your intuitive song that came through was So In Love With Yourself by Danny Minogue. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the song that came on through Spotify when I randomised was I Love You Because I Have To. Um, so <laughs> I am feeling this real kind of like love-hate, very fiery relationship coming through here. Two big egos possibly. Um, I'm quite excited to see what comes through. Uh, right, okay, so here we go. Uh, the people who chose Carnelian, what's their situation? What's going on for the people who, whoops, the lover and the mirror, okay. Now that's really interesting because, and I wonder if it's going to come out, it probably won't, now I'm going to say it, but from this deck here, they've got two um, a card that's two swans and it's like one swan above the other and it's like the reflection in the water. So I'm getting twin flame already from this. Um, so yeah, the lover and the mirror. Uh, and and your song was uh, So In Love With Yourself by Danny Minogue and she, this, the line is um, checking your reflection is what really turns you on so if this is like yeah it's two people mirroring each other and you turn each other on because you kind of like in a weird way remind each other of yourselves um, okay <laughs> self-reflection uh, you get really preening in the mirror uh, I think possibly both of you are probably doing this I've seen you as the being very much like the same energy or you're attracted to someone who is just like really like you know a bit of a Don Juan kind of thing uh really sort of very attractive uh they probably know that they're very attractive um yeah but in the underlying we've got you are good enough and this is the message for everybody you are good enough so you might feel like this person is very very fancy they might, you might feel like they're kind of like too good for you too good to be true i'm being told um but you're being told you are good enough okay so um, i'm going to pull for person a person b now this i'm seeing as you and this i'm seeing as your person and uh, that's how i'm going to read it but just know that you can swap it over any kind of gender roles that come through can be swapped over as well so take it as it resonates basically and just know that you can swap the roles around what's going on in person a's heart space please so the people who chose carnelian that was too many cards okay um people who chose carnelian that's going on in their heart space thank you uh page of swords in reverse uh see this is, i've seen this as like holding back holding back with the truth uh not cutting something out um possibly being a bit harsh with your words uh wanting hmm, why is the page of swords here in the reverse plays in the heart space the hierophant Okay, give me a second with these cards. Right, I think what I'm getting is that um, you or your person, depending on this, if this is you or them, uh, one of you is being very, very intuitive. One of you really has this kind of like higher knowledge, this higher truth of like uh, divinely knowing something. Even though somebody isn't coming forwards with the truth, uh, something is not being communicated or like um, there's some kind of knowledge that you don't have here um yeah that isn't accessible to you but you are 
really trusting your instincts here, trusting in the universe, trusting in higher powers that this is going to work out for you. Um, and you've got these two keys crossed, right? And one is kind of like showing the night sky and one is showing the sun. So again, you've got this yin and yang energy here with this reading. Um, they're giving me, um, I hit you once, I hit you back, you gave a kick, I gave a smack. You smashed a plane over my head and they're now showing me the Ten of Cups. Yeah, oh my goodness, this relationship. I'm going to pause, I'm going to write that song down, put it in the description box below for you. It's Florence and the Machine. Now, I'm not seeing this as being actual physical violence. Um, it better not be. If you if there's physical violence in this relationship, get out now. We're not having that, okay? you. I'm telling you now that you don't deserve that and you're better than that. So leave it. Walk away, find someone who matches you better. But there is this sense of like... Um, tit for tat and being told um spat it's tit for tat spat i'm being told um like i think you like sparring with this person i think you like kind of having like wars of words uh trying to get the upper hand in a situation really i feel like there's oh, my back's going really hot again um i feel like you get really fired up by this person they now know how to pe press all your buttons they know how to trigger you they know how to really rally you up and like sort of unlock with those keys like unlock like a lot of emotions, right, that perhaps normally you, you kind of, that don't come to the surface for you very much. It's a very triggering relationship, but it's almost like that's where the passion comes from. That's where the fire comes from. It's like, um, like preparing for battle, like preparing to fight, like wars with words, but you kind of get off on it. <laughs> you do. Um, okay, so what's going on in... Oh, my bloody back so hot that's why as they were giving me that song um too many cards came out so i put them back the most important card will come out as they were giving me that song they showed me the ten of cups it's like that's what makes you happy with this person this kind of like fighting energy uh you are you've possibly been in your thoughts you've been in this period of like trying to work things out trying to figure things out trying to work out like is this right for you what's going on here why do you feel so triggered by this person but you're coming out of that now i feel like you've made up your mind on something you've looked at things from a different perspective you've figured it out you're not in that hangman energy anymore okay what is there's kind of like some knowledge as well here coming in there's a raven on his necklace and there's a raven on this tree or a crow uh what What's going on in your action space towards your person, please? Balance. You found you're finding balance in the situation. Uh, you, you've you've uh, you've figured it out. <laughs> you've figured out what's going on here, and you're trying to balance out the situation. If it's been very up and down in the past, very volatile, I think you're trying to find a way to kind of make things a bit more even to to make things more stable it's to do with being stable with this with the pentacles uh yeah it's it, you're trying to make the situation less turbulent um okay your person what's going on in your person's heart space why are you giving me so many cards strength queen of wands there she is i told you i'd seen her um is this card as well strength queen of wands page of swords and here's the page of swords and you've got the page of swords so again mirroring again in the heart space oh this is fiery 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 you may be dealing with a leo uh doesn't have to be uh leo's showing up twice here um but again, like over there with high priest, that's like Taurus. This is Aquarius. You've got a lot of signs going on here. Don't worry about the signs too much. Um, this either, this person, you give this person a lot of strength. Um, I think this relationship makes them feel like a lion. It makes them really fired up. It gives them a lot of confidence. It makes them feel super attractive. I think like the the kind of fire, the passion between you, they kind of like feed off this, right? Um, and there is a truth here. They're wanting to communicate this truth to you. And you're but you you intuitively know this truth is coming. Um yeah but it's not here yet it's not been spoken yet you're feeling it in your heart space but it's not coming yet they're in their heart space they're wanting that truth that clarity or you're holding back and they're wanting the truth there's some kind of truth that's not being spoken between you but intuitive knowing feeling it um yeah a lot of passion here really really like fiery attractive um passionate uh, can be like creative as well um it's strong their feelings in the heart space are super super strong for you 
there is a sense of healing as well with that strength card. Um, giving me sexual healing. <laughs> ha ha. Um, yeah, I think you two are definitely mirroring. You're on. The, I think you're on the same page, whether you know it or not. Same page. Like literally, you've got the page of swords. The page of swords. You've got the same page. Um, okay. In their thoughts, what's going on in your person's thoughts? What are they doing? What are they trying to figure out here? Three of cups in reverse. One second. Okay, I've clarified. I'm not going to take all these cards, but I want to show you. Uh, they Because they've got the high priestess in their thoughts, uh, which is mirroring the high priest in your um, emotions. And you've got the sun card, which is the most positive card of the, uh, in the deck. Again, it's Leo. Um, and you've got the six of cups, which is about nostalgia, like this childhood innocence, um, equal give and take. And you've got the six of pentacles over here. So... Um, and you've got the four of ones on the bottom here. So I feel like this person really knows. They really know that there's a lot of intuition between you. Um, and you're both trying to bring balance to this here. They're trying to figure out how to balance out the situation. And they know intuitively that, that their happiness lies with you, right? Um, but the, the, there's a moon on this High Priestess card. They're wanting to bring clarity into the situation. Now, I'm going to put these away in case they want to come back out from the action space because I'm really not quite sure what to do there. Um, and I feel like maybe that's a sign that your person's not quite sure what to do. They may feel like there's too many people involved in this situation. They may be fearing gossip. Um, they may be um, trying to temper themselves if they've been partying too much. Uh, I feel like there's too many... There's kind of like too many people involved in this situation. So they're, may, they may be closing out situations. Maybe they had a lot of options, right? A lot of different people they could choose between. But you can see these two cups are pouring into one cup here. So I feel like they're moving away from perhaps other options. Um, perhaps they partied too much in the past and they're trying to move away from that now. And that's kind of what they're thinking about. Or the fear and gossip. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, what's going on, please? But you've both got these reversals, right? You are you are mirroring. Okay, action space, uh, temperance. Yeah, no. Look how look how well you're mirroring. This is a card about finding balance. This is a card about balancing as well. Temperance card. I see. This is like they're trying to balance their emotions and their passion. They're really. I think you two have come from a place where you've really kind of like you've met you've clashed you've pushed each other's buttons like the fires kind of like burning and now you're trying to kind of you're both trying to temper it and bring it into a more peaceful state um yeah i think like moving more and more towards each other in a more mature energy uh, you've got the ace of cups in the bottom there um could run out of time <laughs> i have to like upload half my video to my computer and then come back and do the other half um just to make the space on my phone uh, what energy are you in what energy are you in please what energy are you in can i get a card for your energy can i get a card for their energy please a card for their energies and they're not giving me one here we go uh the dragon in reverse uh i even though they had that kind of high priestess card there's a sense of them not trusting the divine plan here not quite trusting the universe there we go you've got your energy now uh, the mouse um you are trusting the universe you're just like i am just leaving this in the hands of fate uh, i'm going to uh look at all i think you're noticing all the little small signs all the little indicators and you're using your intuition to be like i know that this is leading me towards this person but i think they're trying to resist fate to a certain degree or they're not trusting this kind of like um deeper knowledge within themselves i've gone very faint i almost like healed backwards then um looking at that dragon card uh, okay i don't know hummingbird yeah this is like tension tension between you feeling the tension right uh really feeling like uh you're kind of like stuck in this place like the the elastic's being pulled between you and it's just gonna snap and you're gonna go flying towards each other um okay what is the barrier here what's that what's the obstacle that needs to be overcome for these two people to come together 
the six of swords six of swords moving away from something towards a calmer place being possibly in a very dark energy right in a dark place in the shadow side moving towards like a brighter future together like you can see the rainbow is like one side of the rainbow is on your, your side one side of the rainbow is on this person's side it's like following you've, maybe you've both been in a dark place you know with these two reversals here um maybe you've both been in a dark place that, where there's been some conflict some mental conflict uh conflict between you like this words this sparring right between you uh coming out of that dark place like following having hope following the rainbow towards each other it's like you're each other's pot of gold <laughs> um it's really dizzy now really very 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 dizzy but yeah the uh, six of swords is about leaving something behind moving to a calmer place um okay what does your person like about you what does your person really like about you please what does your person like about you what do they admire about you what draws them towards you the eight of cups you are super alluring look at that um it's like come with me i'm going to step through this portal to a new world come with me so they see you as very very attractive very alluring very um they i think feel you calling to them they know that you know they're very attracted to you that you're kind of wanting them to come towards you um the Eight of Cups is a card about walking away from a situation that felt very, very disappointing. It felt like there was nothing there. Um, this isn't the way they feel about you. This is like um, they're moving towards you because they feel like you're the cups that are missing. You're their Two of Cups, right? They are... There's something missing in their life. You can see, like, again, I was talking about this This being, like, all the different relationships they have, all these offers, right, that are, like, all singing, all dancing, um, <laughs> kind of, like, trying to catch your attention, but it's almost like they're, these people are dancing and singing right in front of them, being like, pick me, pick me. And they don't want to pick any of these people because they know that they're not going to find the happiness with these people. They're going to find the happiness with you. Um, you're their two of cups. So they're walking away from all these, <clears throat> all these other, I feel like this is my throat closing up again because they need to communicate this to you. They're leaving all these other offers on this on the side of the road kind of thing uh, moving towards you and you're kind of almost being a lot more subtle right a lot more alluring you're letting them you're kind of drawing them to you you're not kind of in the face like these other people possibly um and there's a tr intuition there as well with that moon and the high priestess there and you've got the page of swords again you've got the page of swords three times there this is like news communication coming in and my throat with my throat closing up i feel like there could be communication coming soon or um they uh, there's something in the way of communicating with your person their fear their fear oh okay i've taken that one too yeah okay they may have commitment issues the, because the four of wands is about stable foundations it's like um it's a marriage card to me um and here you can see this person is this is the devil card and she has these two people chained so this this your person may be fair commitment um they may quite like being quite free um or they are scared that scared of making a commitment and then getting chained to something or they are scared of entering into something that looks really good looks like the happily ever after but it's actually going to turn out to be um I don't know. I'm seeing. I'm seeing this as a past situation. <clears throat> I can't. Sorry, my throat's really closing up. I think this might be the situation your person's been in in the past, where they've been in a, a possibly a marriage or a relationship. Could be in like recent past. It could be like a long time ago, right? Um, being in a relationship or some kind of commitment that they felt very very chained to. They felt like they were under they were controlled within this relationship or this commitment uh they felt like and uh, they may have had a mother who was very very domineering who was very uh much like 
a very bossy, very controlling mother um, when they were a child. Um, and they are, yeah, that's, the, they're scared of, that's, I don't know, I don't quite understand what's going on there, but that's what's, that's what I'm getting from those cards. So let's go to your advice. Oh, emotions are running high, super moon. Yeah, well, I got that from the songs. <laughs> I got that from the songs that were playing, emotions are running high. Um, yeah, there is, the yeah. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire here. I feel like, I feel like you're slightly calmer, right? You're a bit more balanced. You've been in this hangman energy. You calm, you're patient, trusting God, trusting the universe, looking for the small signs. Um, I think uh, there's a lot more going on on this person's side. They've got very, very strong energies over here, of like, perhaps someone's been keeping secrets around them. I'm not seeing it as you um lies in the in regarding their existing relationships a huge amount of fire it might be like this person is like nine of pentacles yeah they I think they're trying to stand on their own two feet here. They're trying to be independent. They're trying to be good on their own. Uh, there's a lot of conflict, I feel, around them or a lot of, like, stuff. It's like, it's like hot-headedness, tempers flaring. I'm also, like, the dragon in the, in the reverse. I kind of see that as, like, smog, you know, out of uh, Lord of the Rings, like... Like some kind of like with the devil there as well. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there, there's things that we're not seeing, right? I mean, this is a full card. Like, I think they want to run away from this situation. Like, probably run towards you. Um, leave like the secrets and lies in the. I don't know. I don't know. Tricky reading there, guys. Um, but emotions are running high. So keep trying to temper yourself. Keep being patient. Keep trusting God. Uh, be calm on your side. Um, show this person little signs that you're there for them and let them deal with whatever this is um, I feel like they've got to sort that out on their own it's not for you to try and fix all their problems okay good luck with that guys take care okay guys uh, just back quickly before I move on to the next reading I hope you're still with me because um, I walked away and it's significant that I'm saying I walked away okay uh, eight of cups someone walking away um, now the as I walked away to um, upload the videos to create more space um, on this uh, again creating space. I, there's, um, I, it's all coming through now. As soon as I stopped the reading, walked away. It all started. It all became clear. So I feel like that's important for someone. As soon as you walk away, it'll all become clear. Uh, I think I'm talking to this person. What I'm seeing is that you can probably hear my computer humming in the background as well. Um, what I'm seeing is this person's been in a, an abusive relationship. They gave me the song, I hit you once, I hit you back. Um, you set fire to my bed. Um, a kiss with a fist is better than none, right? A kiss with a fist is better than none. Someone's been in an abusive relationship for a long time. Um, and they are, I think they're coming out of it now. They're standing up for themselves. They've got the strength there and they've got the independence here um, to temper out the situation. They're finding their balance, they're temper they're, yeah, there may be, uh, somebody may be drinking too much. Um, that might be what caused all the problems. This, yeah, someone had to, like, possibly an alcohol problem. But with the four of wands here and the devil card, um, that is like um, an abusive home life. Um, whether that's someone that is like emotionally manipulative, whether somebody is uh, controlling. Um, yeah, there's something really, like I'm seeing like emotional control, right? Emotional manipulation. Um, yeah, it's not a good situation. They're leaving a situation that was pretty dire, I think. Uh, if this isn't your reading, it's not your reading. It might just be for a very, very like small section of you. Um, but I was confused by it and it, now it's clear now. And that's why like the dragon's in reverse and everything. The three of cups is in reverse. So yeah, they're leaving that behind. Or they've left it behind. Um, and they, they're going to, I think, communicate this soon. Um, or they're wanting to communicate in the heart space. But I think they're still trying to find the balance here. They've become independent. They're trying to get used to this new situation. So they're scared 
of this happening again, right? They want to walk away. They want to move towards you. They know that you're their two of cups, but they're either really scared of getting themselves back into this situation where they like, it's like they found their independence and they're kind of good on their own. Um, and they're fearing getting in, because they've been hurt in the past, they're fearing getting into this relationship again. Um, not the same relationship, it's not you, it's the, the person from the past. But that's like, they've got, you know, they're so hurt, they're going to have these fears. Um, but look how soft and gentle you are over here. Um... Or the scared that this person's going to retaliate as soon as they find out, as soon as this truth is spoken, they're scared of what this person from the past will do. There you go. Right, guys, I hope that was helpful to you. I'm sorry that all came out. It's like right at the end there. Um, but like I say, as soon as I walked away, it's like it all became clear. So as soon as this person has the strength to walk away, the situation will become clear. I feel like they'll be able to see. Right, <laughs> on to the next reading. <laughs> Ah, ah, hermitite, hermitite, hermitite. The group that picked hermitite. Um, you are feeling... Oh, what you need to know first is you are good enough. This is the message that everyone needs to hear today. Um, you are good enough. You deserve love. Um, you are worthy, right, of this love. Um, the love that you show to others, you deserve to have back yourself. Um, they're telling me unconditional love. Your songs that came through are um, intuitively Little Star by Khalees came through. Uh, there's nothing special about me. I'm just a little star. If it seems like I'm shining, it's probably a reflection of what you already are. Um, I forget about myself sometimes when there's so many others around. So what I'm getting is there's someone who really feels like it's like imposter syndrome. They feel like they don't deserve the things that they're given. They're very, very giving to other people. They're really like always showing love and support for other people around them, but they don't feel like they deserve to have it back. Right. Sorry for the noises. I will shut the window if it gets too noisy. There's a car just leaving now and I think it'll go a bit quieter. Um, now, it's funny that the song that shuffled for you was Half a World Away by Oasis. Um, and I've only just realised now um, that I had that in my head this morning. I watched another reading where they were talking about um, a fairy godmother. Um, and I was thinking about this idea of like a fairy godmother. And the line from Oasis popped into my head. You can't give me the dreams that are mine anyway. So I feel like somebody's trying to give you everything. Like... They're trying to make your dreams come true, but I think that your dream is them and they can't give you that because they're half a world away or they feel like they're half a world away. Um, and the notes that I've got for you are feeling like it's impossible to have this, this to make this relationship work, having a lot of self-doubt, um, feeling like this relationship is out of reach, like out of your reach, literally like that little star song by Khalees. Um, but I think the message that's coming through is to believe in the impossible. Yeah, I'm shutting the window. It's just too noisy. It's like the rain magnifies the sound. And then um, like because I'm doing this reading a little bit later in the day than usual, it's quite a long reading. Uh, just everything's just so noisy so shut the window get some peace and quiet so okay I kind of already know where this is going <laughs> uh, poor poor group four can I get a card please for group four can I get a card please for group four the offering the offering and the empty room, but the empty room is in reverse, okay? I'm going to turn it the other way up. I'm picking up on very dark feelings, right? Very kind of like feeling like nothing ever works out for me. I don't deserve anything. Uh, very much like shadow side feelings, right? But there's an offer trying to be made here. There's an, something... <sighs> 
either an offer being made and not being accepted because it's like I don't think anything will come of this situation or like feeling like I don't deserve it it's a lot of shadow side a lot of shadow side okay you are good enough I'm going to keep picking this up um someone making an offer and it feeling like they're just making this offer to the void um feeling like their love is lost in the void holding out your hand wanting to feel like feel like you're trapped feel like you're a, you're an observer like looking at the rest of the world looking at everybody else being happy feeling like you're stuck in this empty box like looking out at all these dreams and wishes right and you've got all these stars as well and you have that Khalees little star song like you're making an offer but the offer is like all black around it oh i don't want to do this one i mean i do because i feel like you guys need it the most The Hermitite as well, I associate it with kind of like, um, sort of like underworld energy, like it's very black and shiny, it's like, it is there but it isn't, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I feel like maybe you're in that energy, I keep saying it, I don't know, oh my god, and look what's on the underside, yeah, feeling really hopeless feeling really hopeless about this situation okay what's in your heart space what's in your heart space if this isn't your reading if this isn't oh my god and it came out yeah feeling like this is this is hopeless like i can't this is ended Ex accepting the end accepting the this is the end of this relationship. Like it's like giving up, right? Giving up in the heart space. There's nothing. There's nothing to offer. I've got nothing to offer. I'm being told. That's what some of you are thinking. I've got nothing to offer. Wait a second. In the dark of the night, you're all I can see, and you sure look like a star to me. It's that song. It's two people singing to each other. It's one person saying, "I'm not worth anything. I'm just a little star," and the other person's like, "You look like a star to me." It's just a matter of timing. It's inspiring to see you shining. No. Of course it's the moon in your thoughts i'm seeing this it's not the shadow side card but i'm kind of seeing the shadow side card in my head um it's a little star little star shining that little light in the darkness walls at your feet not knowing what's going on feeling like you there's lots of secrets around you feeling like you're in the dark look at all those keys she's got on her on her waistband there um and she's got this jewel on her heart chakra. It's like glowing. I think you've, you've got a lot of intuition here. You've got a lot of... You're kind of trusting your intuition. Or you may be very emotional right now. It's like you're offering... It's like you're shining your little light to someone. Shining your little, little light in the darkness. And that's your offer out into the void. Of all that darkness that's around you. Or around them. Shining, yeah, shining that little light. Little tiny bit of hope there, right? So what's going on in your action space? Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what a leap. What a leap. You've got the tower. Super destructive card. It's like one of the most painful cards in the deck. The death and the tower. That's like double score. You, this is strong Scorpio. Someone may be a Scorpio here. All these three cards can be Scorpio for me. Um, to the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Jumping from something that's like super destructive, super painful, like some kind of ending <laughs> to complete happiness. <laughs> complete wish fulfillment and happiness with someone else. Uh, you may be leaving something behind, a situation behind that's just not working out anymore uh, because you're moving towards your happiness. 
tired of secrets and lies, holding out the hope for a brighter future, and ending something, moving forward to something bright and happy, making an offer, and it may feel like a really, really small offer to someone else, it may feel like you're offering, offering something up to the universe, hoping that something's going to answer the call, um, yeah, ouch ouch triple scorpio and like scorpios you know they can be very very loving you know scorpios have a lot going for them but in the tarot ouch <laughs> leaving a situation that may have been um very emotional very emotional ending i'm not seeing this as because i asked what you're moving towards right so you're asking about a new relationship. If this is something you've left behind, like something they're telling me dead in the water and my heart pulled, something dead in the water that you're leaving behind because you're moving towards your Ten of Cups. So this is the relationship that's the Ten of Cups for you, okay? <sighs> Guys, <laughs> but I think you're feeling like it's hopeless. So you're feeling like it's hopeless. What is your person thinking and feeling? What is your person feeling in their heart towards you? What does your person feel about this situation? Terrifant. Divinely guided. Uh, very grounded. Very... This is like higher knowledge. Like, Can I get a clarifier please for the her Hierophant? Why is the Hierophant Hierophant? Why is he here? Why is the, <laughs> Why is the elephant here? Because of the tower. Feeling very spiritual, feeling enlightened, feeling like uh, perhaps this is the same tower or perhaps this person's had their own tower moment. Some kind of sudden realisation, something that shook up their world, made them really kind of go into like their spiritual side, seeking higher knowledge, seeking... Um, there's kind of like this universe energy here with this empty room uh yeah something's happened and it's really thrown them into like um their more spiritual side just trying to seek out answers okay what's going on in your person's thoughts whoa <laughs> whoa 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 um They are thinking that they're going to face a lot of conflict or competition um, regarding um, something that they want to move passionately towards. I think they want to let me get uh, what's going on in their action space. What's going on in their action space towards you? No, they don't want to tell me yet. Um, they want to avoid conflict. They feel like they're thinking there's something really big here. Two towers here. Death, the moon, the hierophant. It's all like one, two, three, four, five, six. So six cards here. Five of them are major arcana and one of them is one of the happiest cards in the deck. And then here you've got like feeling like they're thinking about they think they're going to face a lot of conflict about if they move passionately towards you if they come rushing in like a knight in shining armor coming to save the day coming to show you how they feel uh, they're going to face conflict so they're almost wanting to kind of think how are we going to do this can is there, is there a way that we can kind of meet in secret right or is there a way that we can kind of quietly go under the radar and dodge this conflict you've got this change as well uh i feel like the conflict there's a lot of conflict on your end right there's a lot of like you've got those wolves at your feet you've got the death card here you've got the tower um it's like they're thinking how are we gonna do this but avoid any more tower moments i think so what's going on in the, your person's action space please tell me about your person's action space what action are they taking or do they want to take towards you that was too many cards I've seen there we go 
Seven of Pentacles. Uh, there's a sense of divine timing with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like, um, and then you've got the Ten of Pentacles after that. So there's a sense of like planting seeds and watching them grow, taking the time, uh, waiting for divine timing, waiting for kind of the clouds to clear before they can come forwards towards you. Uh, and they, I just saw the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords and the Chariot. So eventually they're going to want to come rushing in with their truth, wanting to rush in to uh yeah rushing in with their truth uh but they feel like they're just trying to be a little bit patient they're trying to kind of work on things plant the seeds get things into the right order um and they're waiting for kind of like harvest time right for for it to be the right time and then you've got justice as well on the bottom there um right longest reading ever this reading is gonna be like two hours long in total <laughs> uh so your energy, uh, Stingray, can I just check? Yeah, oh, right. you're trying to find your balance. You're trying to fly under the radar, right? It, or whatever this trouble is, whatever this, it's like drama and chaos around you. You're just trying to kind of glide, keep your balance, glide under the radar. They're giving me, just keep swimming, just keep swimming <laughs> from uh, Finding Nemo. Um, so what's going on for your person? What's going on for your person? That's too many cards. They showed me the spider. Uh, what tangled webs we read. What's going on for your person, please? Oh, feeling like a deer in the headlights. Yeah, they know. They know that if they come towards you right now, there's going to be trouble, right? Going to be trouble. They know it's not the right time. Uh, feeling really like... Um, feeling very vulnerable, actually. Feeling a bit like... The, the poop could hit the fan if they came towards you right now. So, uh, yeah, trying to, again, the whale, trying to go under the radar. Ooh. Ooh. What is going on for you? Uh, it feels impossible, right? I can see that it feels impossible, but you do, you know where your happiness is. <laughs> like, you both know where your happy, happiness is, your passion is. So what are, the, what are the obstacles? What's getting in the way here? Daughter of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Uh, it's like going back to the drawing board. Oh, look, you've got two deer as well. Be feeling quite frightened. Feeling quite frightened. Feeling quite nervous. Uh, feeling a little bit like you're trying to find your way in the dark. Uh, really trying to gain some extra knowledge. Going back to the drawing board. Trying to come up with some sort of plan here. Uh, this is what's kind of like I feel like you know where your happiness is you've got like double rainbows right um you you you've got the rainbow over here and you've got the deer over here you know where your happiness is okay but there's this sense of being very very vulnerable very vulnerable uh needing to come up with a, a strategy a plan you've got the king of swords there is, again I've seen the king of swords twice now so yes one of you is coming up with some sort of plan here uh so for now just keep a low profile I think um what does your person like about you? The world. Oh my goodness. And the high priestess and the emperor. They should they, they just like the the cards kind of jumped out of my hands. Okay. They think the world of you. They see you as someone who has a huge amount of spiritual knowledge. Uh you've got yeah, exactly. They've got the hierophant up here with the uh, the tower they see you as someone who has uh, a lot of intuition uh you may very well be scorpio or a water sign here um there's a lot of scorpio energy back here um you may have strong scorpio in your chart somewhere um really someone who's very spiritual very knowledgeable very um like stable grounded like it's like you've got the, like so much emotional stability. You're able to weather like the storms, right? Whatever this like chaos and conflict is around you, you stand steady and shine your little torch um, using your intuition, using your spirituality to keep you grounded, to keep you stable, to keep you moving forward like the stingray. Yeah, look how like the chakras are so balanced. They see you as someone who's very, very balanced and you mean the world to them, the world to them. It's like they're, you're, you're their spiritual truth. Um, 
and then you've got this emperor card as well so this is someone who's got a lot of control uh, but i'm seeing this as them uh like you're stood there in your full power your full intuitive spiritual power and you're shining it's like telepathically like shining your light onto them through the moon i don't know maybe you do a lot of moon work look how the moon's shining on this person the moon's shining on this person he's looking at the high priestess it's like you make this person feel like a warrior you make them feel like they can stand up like they can fight they can enter the competition they can enter the fray um and come out looking confident um yeah, you give this person a lot of strength you may see them actually as a kind of emperor you may have them on a pedestal I think you have, but I think you have each other on a pedestal. It's like you're both stuck in the shadow side of like feeling like you're not worthy, but you see each other as like the be all and end all. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I was thinking that I was going to see the Emperor card in this reading, and I did because I think you've got them on a pedestal. I think you're like. I'm just a little star, like, what could you possibly see in me? I'm like, you know, over here twinkling, like, twinkle, twinkle, little star, like, I'm nothing. I'm just over here shining my little light, doing my own thing, like, what could you possibly see in me? You're, like, the emperor on a pedestal, right? He's looking at you. Okay. What is your person afraid of? Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Your person... Right, I'm going to take it all because that was very determined to talk about. So they're scared of communicating their truth. They're scared. Like, look how dark, like, this, this dark, an like, angel is, like, scared of, yeah, scared of communicating the truth. Scared of harsh words. Scared of, scared that, oh, my God, and you're the empress. Or they're the empress. You've got the emperor and the empress. You're a perfect match. What are you? What are you doing? What are you both doing? They see you as the empress. Uh, they're kind of like I feel like really sort of watching and waiting. Um, yeah, the world to them. They, this is like pregnancy. They want to have babies with you as well. Like the moon and the the world and the empress. It's like they see you as like their wish come true. Like you've both got each other on a pedestal. It's like you're each other's wish fulfillment, but you like really kind of like spying on each other. He, you're shining your light over here. He's shining his light over here. Is this hermit card being really quite introspective? Um, scared. I think that you're going to walk away. Scared that you're not going to take the love offer. It's like you mean you mean so much to each other. You mean so, look, look, she's shining a little light as well. Let this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Um, you mean so much to each other. You are each other's wish fulfillment. You're shining your little lights to each other, but the fear is that you're not gonna take the cup. You're gonna walk away. And I think that's each other's fear. And I know what this card is. I've seen it already. Um, it flipped up, so I've seen what it is, and it's your shadow side. Okay, so before I show you, this is what you're. This again is what you're scared of. This is what you're telling yourself. Nothing will come of this situation. Void of course on the moon. You think that it's hopeless. You, you or your person. You, there's a lot of sh shadow side here. There's a lot of self doubt. Uh, I feel like this is really, you know, for you. Uh, you are good enough. Um, and I'm going to pull another advice card for you just to be super clear because I'm reading it. I think this is what you're thinking. Nothing, nothing will come in this situation. Half a world away. I'm just a little star. My back is so hot. So, so hot. Like, like look. That's what you're scared of. You're scared that, it's, that there's nothing there. Oh, my God. <laughs> work through your fears work through your fears okay scorpio energy I'm telling you shadow side is strong here it's like the devil like the devil card trying to keep you back trying to hold you back from your dreams telling you you're not good enough work through your fears you are good enough look at the bigger picture look at the bigger picture stop trapping yourself in that empty room inside your mind and look at the bigger picture look at what you two bloody well mean to each other
the only thing holding you two back is is your, your own fears your own yeah your fears of of because you mean so much to each other scared that scared that you're going to turn your back on each other because it would be devastating my daughter's brushing her teeth and singing <laughs> what's she singing hold on <laughs> there we go i wanted to see what she was singing i didn't know the song um it's from warrior cats though it's a, a book series that she likes and there's a, a a lady who does um she does like songs based on the books um so so yeah but i thought it was interesting that it was warrior cats and we've got this emperor here who's like a warrior uh, so there we go. That was your reading. I'm going to move on to the next sign now. Um, but have faith, guys. Have faith. You are good enough. Okay. You are worthy of this. And it looks like they feel very passionately towards you as well. <laughs> okay. For the group that uh, picked Amazonite. <sighs> what have you been up to? Because the intuitive song I got for you is Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you go back to her. You go back to her. You only said goodbye with words. Uh, and the song um, that came through via Spotify was Sooner or Later by Madonna, which is no one I've, want, no one I've kissed ever fights me again. Sooner or later, you're going to be mine. So I feel like we are dealing with um, a bit of an illicit affair here. I feel like the person you're dealing with is between two people, between you and someone else. And perhaps they've promised to leave this person um, or they've said goodbye to you, but they've only said goodbye with words, right? They are... Um, I saw the Knight of Wands, so I'm getting player energy. But you're, I'm seeing someone as being quite determined to hold on to this. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see what the cards say. They may reflect the songs. They may not. But, oh, oh, what have you been up to? So let's get a situation card, please, for the people who chose Amazonite. Group 5. Group five, uh, the people who chose Amazonite. Situation, please, for the people who chose Amazonite. Re here we go. Oh, okay, the one. Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you everything to this person? Or are they, uh, do they have split loyalty? Uh, do they mean everything to you? Do you think they're the one? Which is why I can't give this up. I can't give this up. They're the one. But perhaps they've got someone else that they have uh, prior commitments to. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, right. Let's go to your heart space. So uh, I'm going to pull person A, pull person B. I am seeing this as you. I'm going to refer to this probably as you and this as them. But just know that you can switch it over. If you think you're this person and this person is your person, then you can switch them over. OK. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we get here. So person A's heart space. What's going on in person A's heart space, please? Person A's heart space. People, there we go. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're feeling like this is fated. Do you think this is the per this person is the one for you? The person that you're meant to be with. Uh, you think this is definitely going to happen. This is like meant to be, right? Oh, and they're, they're trying to give me the Queen of Wands as well. Uh, feeling very, very passionate towards this person. I am getting a lot of, like, fiery, hot, like, yeah, pretty determined energy uh, from you. Ah, okay, <laughs> what's going on in your thoughts? What's going on in your thoughts? What's going on in Person A's thoughts, please? Think maybe possibly leaving this to chance as well. Oh, the shadow side in reverse. Uh, okay. Well, the the re the thing for the reading is you you are good enough. Okay, these people need to hear that they are good enough. They have value. Uh, I think you have, you might have been fighting your shadow side. Uh, you might have already dealt with these feelings of being not worthy, and you're like very very secure in your knowledge that you're like. 
Oh, they can be back back to black. Yeah, I'll go back to black. So you may have already been through feelings of being quite in a low, dark place, possibly depression. Um, you've come out of that. Don't go back to black. Action space. Oh, which way, please? Oh, yeah, and you're in Empress Energy. Brilliant, perfect, good. You have fought your shadow, shadow side and won. I feel like they're giving me Sia now. Um, I fighted my shadow. Um, lost you, where did we go wrong? I'm fighting my ego. Um, still here by Sia. So I think you have done the work. I think you've done the shadow side. That You've done your shadow work. You are feeling pretty strong here now. Um, yeah, feeling in your empress energy. Sort of feeling like, right, I've done my work. I've done everything I can in this situation. I'm leaving it up to the hands of fate. I've done my shadow work. I am sitting in my empress energy, sitting firm, sitting steady. I'm not going to be taking advantage anymore. I'm not going to be played. Um, if this person wants me, they're going to have to come correct, right? That's not my language. I don't normally speak like that. Come correct. Um, so I feel like that might possibly be your language. Like that, no, that sounds really sort of. I don't mean anything. I don't mean to sound funny by that. I just mean it's not something I would normally say. So I feel like that was an intuitive thing that I've said. I may have said that because that's something that you have actually said. You know, he's going to have to come correct. Um, so, yeah. So it's sitting there in your power, sitting there on your throne, saying, if he wants me, he can come and get me. But he needs to say goodbye to his person with more than words or make it clear to me what he wants i'm leaving it up to the hands of fate now i've done my work i'm sitting here sitting strong whatever happens i am i know i'm the one right i'm the one i know i'm my one i'm everything i need okay brilliant good this is going a lot better than i thought it was going to go okay you know you're good enough this is the thing everybody else all the other readings i've had to tell them you're good enough you deserve this you deserve this love you know you're good enough like look at that look literally the same color as your stone you know you're good enough and they need to know it too what's going on in their heart space right now oh heart break break have you blocked them have you blocked them you may have with the two of swords you may have told them this you may have been like no more uh-uh no more. You're not messing me around anymore. You've got to make a decision. Two of Swords is about making a decision. Uh, you know, either cut them out or cut me out. Make the decision. It's heartbreaking for them. Three of Swords, again, it's like there's too, too many people involved here. Um, yeah, you've, 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 I think you've set down the line. You're like, no more of this. And, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Choose. Uh, so they are very very conflicted right now quite heartbroken by the situation don't don't pity them don't be like oh okay well i'll i'll scrub that line out no like you've given them the ultimatum they need to work that out now what they want um good for you good for you um what else was i getting there yeah i feel like just heartbroken over having to make a choice here it's like, for them, it's I think they're resisting making the choice. They're resisting making the cut because they don't want to cause the heartbreak either. Like, they don't want to hurt you and they don't want to hurt their person. Okay, well, in their thoughts, oh, but they're the king of swords. They are the king of swords. They are clear. And I just want to point out as well that the sun is here on their heart and on their throne okay the sun so they know they know where their happiness is i feel like it's probably is with you because we've got the one card here and they are actually looking in your direction right i think they know that their happiness lies with you they're very clear on that they're very, they're trying to be logical it's all swords so there's no emotions here um it's all thoughts for them. They're really trying to think the situation through. How am I going to handle this? What am I going to do? But the King of Swords will take action when he's clear. When he's made up his mind, he will cut something out if he needs to. So hopefully, hopefully he's going to make up his mind soon and you're going to know what you know where you are in the situation. 
uh, it show, tried to show me the Knight of Wands again, that player card. I feel like if your person was a player before and you've drawn the line, it's like no more, no more. Um, like that's that's behind them. The, that past is behind them. Um, or it's going to have to be if they want to come forward towards you. Um, okay. Uh, Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck at the moment. But I'm trying to get action space, please. What action is this person going to take? Okay, you've got success. Oh, six of wands and seven of wands. Now, just to show you, the cards are really well shuffled. They are not consecutive um, in the actual deck here. Uh, so it's unusual for the six of wands and the seven of wands to be side by side like that. Um, so this is celebration, being in the spotlight, ready to step into the spotlight, ready to, um, uh, to celebrate something and to stand up for something or stand up against something. So he's going to either take action to say, this is, this is my truth. Uh, and I'm going to stand up for this and, and fight off anyone who wants to kind of come at me about it. Anyone who's going to like come at me with their opinions. I'm going to fend them off. I'm going to defend my choice to be with you. Or they're defending their choice to be with the other person. They're a little bit scared of like um, people coming for them about this. Uh, but yeah, there's celebration I think. They're going to celebrate whichever choice they make. Um, and I am seeing the Nine of Pentacles. Which is a card about becoming single and good on their own. Um Oh, and they've just given me the Fool. Okay, they probably are coming towards you. The Fool is about um, taking a brand new start, a leap of faith, uh, following your heart, trusting trusting God, trusting fate, trusting the universe. Um, yeah, taking that leap of faith, ready to stand up for themselves about what their truth is. Look, it's looking pretty good, I have to say. Uh, it may take a little bit of time. You've also got the Hangman. So I think they're really taking the time to be sure, to, to be very clear before they take this leap uh so yeah okay looking good i wish they'd shown up as the emperor as well to be honest but um what energy are you in what energy are you in please well we know you're an empress energy right one last try can i get uh, energy for there we go moth uh coming out of the darkness towards the light but it was in reverse you're not going to let you're not going to be drawn right you're not going to be drawn like a moth to a flame you're not going to let this person wrap you around your little finger uh you know constantly going back towards this bright light that keeps burning you it's like no no more i'm not going to be drawn like a moth to a flame anymore towards you uh yeah really coming out of the darkness there as well that shadow side in reverse what energy are they in towards you what kind of energy are they in at the moment? Whoa, okay. Well, back to that player energy. Uh, Cobra, they are obsessed. They are very sexually attracted towards you. Um, very, very passionate about you. Yeah, literally obsessed. They're being a bit sneaky, or they have been sneaky in the past, right? They've been the fox. They've been trying to uh, strategize, uh, move in the darkness, strategize, figure things out. Uh, the wolf, though, coming out of the fox energy into the wolf energy, the wolf is a little bit more determined. They, they're more likely to, lead, excuse me, likely to go straight for what they want. Like he's looking dead on, right? Moving from fox energy to wolf energy, so that's much better energy. It's more, much more protective as well. The fox is sneaky, a little bit, a little bit underhand. The wolf is. Um, goes for what they want, goes directly for what they want. And uh, they're a little bit savage, uh, but they are kind of very, very protective of their pride. So you've got that protective energy that they're showing up in now. Um, and the horse is very determined, very hardworking, um, able to go on a long journey. Okay, they, they're going on, uh, they're kind of transforming over here. I think they were a player in the past, but I, I do see them coming out of that. It's like, you know, giving them that ultimatum has shook them up a little bit and made them realize actually what they want that you know they can't have every, they can't have everything okay they're gonna have to make a decision here uh, i think it's kind of making them mature a little bit it's making them grow up um maybe you're gonna want them after this maybe not maybe you'll have moved on to someone else okay what's going on here what is the burden what is what's in the way of this coming to, these two people coming together father's swords needing uh 
this could be a person in between you who's saying, uh, nope, <laughs> not happening. Um, but I'm seeing because your person's showing us the King of Swords, it's the same energy, Father of Swords, King of Swords. It's like um, what's between you is uh, this need for clarity, this need for action, the need for something to be cut out, the need for the truth to be spoken, uh, the need to be really, really stand in your truth or for them to stand in their truth about their wishes and their wish fulfillment about the hopes and dreams, the one as well, hopes and dreams, wishes. Uh, okay, so how does your person see you? What do they like about you? What do they admire about you? What draws you to them? Oh, they like that you're clear. They like the clarity. Okay, uh, they're showing up as the father of, father of Swords, King of Swords with the truth. They like that you are standing in your truth. Okay, you've got the Ace of Swords, you've got the clarity, you've cut things out of your life that you need to cut out, you've done the work. Okay, they respect that about you, that you are so truthful, so clear. Okay, yeah, I feel like you've drawn the line because here we've got this Five of Wands, right? And it's almost like a breakup card. It's a breakup card, but also kind of looks almost like they're in two different worlds, right? This, like, look at the difference in colour between, like, the purple side over here and the kind of, like, reddish coloured side over here. So I think you've drawn the line with your Ace of Swords. You've drawn the line down the middle and you've said, look, uh, <laughs> don't touch me don't even come towards me unless you're going to come in this king of swords energy i'm not interested if you come towards me in that cobra and uh, knight of wands player energy you can get right out because i want something serious here i'm not going to be you're not going to make a fool of me anymore i'm going to no, i'm not going to sit in my shadow side um yeah oh absolutely okay so uh if you were to have an affair with this person if this person's got someone else and you were to have an affair you know that's going to generate bad karma for you okay that's you you indulging in that you going for that being drawn like that moth to the flame that is shadow energy it generates bad karma but you're like no i'm going to sit in empress energy with my ace of swords with my truth trusting the hand of fate if it's meant to be you're going to cut that person out you're going to come towards me and if you don't then goodbye okay and they they have a lot of respect for you about that a lot of respect it's like if they thought they could take advantage of you in the past uh-uh yeah, respecting you for drawing that line. Okay, so what is their fear? What are they afraid of in regards to the situation? What are they scared would happen if they came towards you? Oh, okay, yeah, out in the cold. Scared of being hurt. A lot of knowledge here. Uh, telling me public knowledge. I think if they're leaving behind, okay, yeah, so this is the Ten of Pentacles card. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is normally, like, this is what the, the normal image is, right? It's like, uh, like comfortable home, got everything you need, um, you know, like, warm, inviting home, got the people around you who you love, uh, but I think they're scared because... Their home life, I feel, is very, very cold. Uh, they may present the Ten of Pentacles. I've got this perfect life, perfect wife, right? Uh, or husband, whatever that is, you know, depending on who your person is. Um, presenting, like, I've got the big house, I've got everything I need. That perfect Instagram life. But the truth is, there's no love there. It's cold. And they're scared of this becoming, like, public knowledge with these owls. They're scared of... Um, They're scared of walking away from that. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, they're scared of making this offer to you. Um, scared of being hurt here. Um, scared of asking their friends for help in the situation. Feeling like they need a, a plan. Feeling like they need a good plan. Um, they're not prepared. They're kind of, yeah, they're not ready. They're not ready. Um they they need more secure they're scared about the security all of this is pentacles ten of pentacles knight of pentacles three of pentacles uh page of pentacles here um they're really really worried about the security the stability their money uh their creature comforts they know that if they follow their heart and come towards you i think you are the one if they follow the heart and they come towards you and walk away from the current situation they're really scared about um 
this lack of stability uh, they want to make sure they've got the money they've got perhaps like a really secure and stable job so that they know that they can walk away from a situation and um, you know pay out whatever needs to be paid out and live comfortably um yeah they're scared of letting go okay what is your your advice <laughs> your advice is what do you need to release what do, what do you need to release Perhaps expectations of this person, perhaps the need to be with this person unless they're going to come to you correctly. But I feel like you're already there. You're already there. Um, you're, you're sitting in Empress Energy there in your action space. You've drawn the line. What do they need to release? Are they going to release you or are they going to release their other person? Are they going to release the information here, the truth? You know you're good enough, right? You know you're good enough. You don't need them. But you do need them to make up the mind. Okay. Good luck. Good luck with that. Ugh, don't, I'm just tired now. I think that's like the longest video I've done in a long, 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 long time. Uh, luckily, it's not going to... The last one I did was really long as well. The last time I did a Pick a Card Love reading. Because I get too into it and I go too in depth. I need to keep it more simple. Uh, but I feel like I need to give you the information, right? <laughs> you want to know these things. So I feel like I've got to go in depth. I was also going to do four cards, but they gave me five songs. So I was like, okay, well, if you, you know, if they give me five songs, I've got to do five decks. They clearly want me to. Um, so yeah, long reading for me there. Let me know if you do like love readings. I may do, instead of doing pick a card readings, I may just do uh, kind of like tell me anything love readings. Um more often if people want that sort of thing um yeah <laughs> it's, it's taking a lot out of me i'm tired <laughs> right okay guys good luck good luck i wish you all the future success and happiness in the relationships with the person you want to be with do take care and i'll see you again soon bye